You're listening to The Word on the Streets with Joe Bingham, Jason Tasker, and Raj Pujada. What's going on, guys? Welcome to, uh, welcome, welcome to Word on the Streets. Raj is wearing jeans. Spruced himself up. Jason's wearing a, a tracksuit after the shit we gave Raj for wearing tracksuits all the time, but Jason doesn't look homeless in his. I can't understand. Do what I look it is. homeless today? No, nah, you look pretty smart. He's yeah. had the beard the, shaped up. Got the shape up. You're looking took, pretty. Took uh, the edges off. I don't know. The comebacks on. I think. Yeah, it? the glow up. <laughs> you could be a, you could be it a, is, a Brooklyn, Brooklyn is... battle rapper. That's your image today. I think. Like, yeah. You what? Like, do you know the ones that do like the UK battle, like Luna C? Can you remember Luna yeah. C? Is, is yeah. it, I can remember when I saw Luna C actually uh, as the opening act for the game. <laughs> I was like, what just came out and just like beefy at Kentish Town Forum? Yeah. He was the... I think I was there. Was you? Yeah, I think I was. Was it the one where the game, at the end of the gig? We knew each other then. Like, why did you not... Did we... I think we knew each other, yeah. Or maybe I saw a game at uni then. Yeah, because it was at you the end of the gig. Basically, the game just went out into the streets and finished the gig. And he was... Oh, yeah, no, no, no. He was no. doing stuff like down. he downed a bottle of... He got someone from the audience and downed... A bottle of Hennessy. A bottle of Hennessy. And then the audience member had to down a bottle. They both like down it at the same time. Oh, that sounds and they nearly point. finished it. And it was like, someone's dying tonight. It's not big and it's not clever. It's not, is it? No. Nah. No, that's when I left. You know what I mean? That's where I draw but, the line. Yeah. You know, he's got to bury that trauma from Diddy. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. You know, you know yeah. about game and Diddy? Well, I know about Diddy and pretty much everyone in the, in the industry. Oh, the game was just floating around with Diddy for like two years. Mm. And uh, they did no studio time. They just went out for two years. <laughs> really? Like, what are you doing? I just like I just like fifty beefing with Diddy constantly. Yeah, beefs with Game a lot now as well, doesn't he? Because the Game started having beef with Eminem for like yeah. no good reason, and Fifty was just like, "What the fuck are you?" There's always a good reason. It's to sell your units. Yeah, isn't true. It? Did you not see? He was on Drink Champs, and it the Game, and it was like, "Oh, you you put me in a versus with M." And we're going toe to toe. And even the guy, like even the guy on drink tanks was just like, I don't, I don't think you've got tunes like that, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, not at all. Speaking of rappers, Snoop Dogg got offered a lot of money to get his dick out on OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah. And he turned it down. Would so, you get hundred mil? Hundred mil, I think. And that was just a signing on fee, wasn't it? <laughs> what? Yeah, it's just, it's just like just, a pre-contract yeah, agreement. Just a sign on. Yeah, OnlyFans were like, yeah, well, hundred mil. He set up a page, get your dick out. Everyone wants to see. Did he have a reason why he didn't? Because of his wife. Yeah, but he's quite loyal to his wife, isn't it? They've been together day dot. Yeah, but even she's probably like, dude, get your dick out for a hundred mil. You don't need the money, but also like, dude, a hundred mil is a hundred mil. Yeah, but the, the thing that I want to know is like, what like Family Fortunes poll of the staff at OnlyFans done to be like everyone wants to see your dick Snoop. I've not heard a uh, I've not heard a single woman in my life say I am dying to see Snoop Dogg's dick. Do you reckon he'll have to change his name to Snoop Hogg? Depends if he's packing a hog, you know what I mean? <laughs> nah, I reckon it's like a blunt, isn't it? You yeah, reckon? What, like, <laughs> what, like one that's already been smoked? Yeah, like, <laughs> like a, bit, a bit ashy on the end. <laughs> uh, yeah, I reckon he's long and thin. Uh, a bit like him, you know? Not yeah. like me, I'm short and girthy. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised. He's, like now's the time where he's just <laughs> like, a, like, a, like a like a coke can. <laughs> yeah, 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 like maybe like a Red Bull can, you know? Oh yeah, yeah. that's that's not that's not that's terrible. short. It's still short, isn't it? Because not Bull. a beer can. Well, how big's a Red Bull? Okay. Oh, the, the meal deal. The meal deal <laughs> size. <is. laughs> <laughs> Meal deal size, all right. I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm one of those energize uh, ginger shots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, ne- I've, ne- I've never, I've never in my life measured, measured my. Dick. You never measured your knob? No, no, me neither. Have you? Probably back in the day. Yeah. Shall we get the ruler? Stab yeah, it in really got, hard. Yeah. Use the ruler. I, I can't remember what I used. So. People use all sorts, isn't it? Remotes. Yeah, but that doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For scale, scale. Yeah, that's yeah. It. I just hold the sky remote really far back for perspective. Yeah, I just yeah. get something really small. Those miniature drinks. Yeah, it's also available you know, in a large my size. Dick's the size of a bottle of <laughs> Bailey's, man. You know? Yeah, or like one of those snack size Stella Artois cans. Yeah, it's just yeah, yeah. Like, but now that he's turned call it this down. the wife beater. <laughs> <laughs> now that he's turned it down, are you not a bit curious? Like no homo, just be like no. 
No, 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 me neither. I'm no, <laughs> 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 no, I've no, I've no interest in 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 seeing his dude. I mean, like, what? How did they think that would draw people to the platform if they were just gonna see? I, I get it because it's that it's the I think it's that unhealthy intrigue with celebrities, isn't it? Like, well, look at Chris Brown's dick. Hmm? Chris Brown's dick when he in his picture got leaked. Did it? That took the internet by storm. So did Chris Evans. I Remember, know who that is. You know the guy who plays Captain America? Oh, did his get leaked as well? Yeah, his was he was so drunk. I think he tried to send a dick pic to someone and he tweeted it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one yeah. of those. And, yeah. he, and he woke up in the morning. And he, like, he fell asleep. He like tweeted it and fell asleep. So it was up for hours. And he woke up in the morning like everyone, had, like, it was everywhere. He knew the game was up kind of thing. Like Lizzo was fucking tweeting about it. And he was just like, yeah. I've got no comeback from this. Was he, <laughs> sorry was he, about sorry about that, and then just deleted it. Was he was yeah. he packing? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's not yeah you won't be that bothered about it then. Yeah, because Chris Brown, you know, he was he he got a lot of love for his. Yeah. To the point where people were like, yeah, he beats his misses, but hopefully with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And to be fair, I mean, he's never dropped a bad album. I'll, I'll give yeah. you that. Yeah, you can get away with a lot if you if you're a talented artist. Yeah. But I think that's what that it's was always the, the hooks with his song, isn't it? Yeah, the, the, he hooks and really the well. fucking. <laughs> no, that yeah, was a little, yeah, that was a little punching joke because the hook. Ah, <laughs> not that, everyone's yeah. awake, you know. Not everyone's awake this morning. Yeah, you missed that. You missed that. But do you think? I just find find him a bit of a strange person to ask. Like he's how old is Snoop Dogg? He's got him in his fifties, I know. Late yeah, 50s. I think he's. Yeah, he's. A, well, let's find out. He's a let's bit old to be asking for a dick pic. But no, but I do get it. Like because I think. And how old did he have shot it? Like what? What yeah, scenario? You've got, you'd have got photographers put... in, haven't it? And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, no, the lighting. You've got to change the lighting. I think it'd have a hundred percent made it funny. Like I think it would have been just like him smoking a blunt dick out or something. Like, yeah. Like Are you mad? It would have been. It would have been. It would have been the new Just Eat ad for just uh, him <laughs> on a velvet sofa, like Just Eat. Yeah. <laughs> He's 52. 52. 52? Yeah. I actually thought he was older than Eminem's that. Eminem's 51. Yo, you want to put your dick really? in a fajita wrap? Just <laughs> eat! Like that kind of thing, yeah. But at least like Iggy Azalea is one of the top earners on there. I thought she was going to say she, she's getting a dick out she's as well. She's getting a dick out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, she made a twat of herself when she was... Oh, some of these ages career. are wild, bro. What, as in... 50 Cent is 48. Where's Khalifa's 36. Lil Wayne is 41. Ice Cube and Jay-Z are 54. Dr. Dre is 58, Eminem is 51, and I don't know why she's in this list, but Martha Stewart's 82. <laughs> <laughs> it's because Martha Stewart's best mates with Snoop Dogg. Uh, okay. You know what? They do, a, they, cause they do a cookery show where they smoke weed. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's because it's, it's it's Martha that, Stewart but... got sent down yeah. for a tax scandal, isn't it? But there was loads of people involved in it, and she, she just wouldn't give any names. And they were like, you won't go to jail if you give names. And like she became like a an icon yeah, in the yeah. hip hop scene. So everyone was like, Martha Stewart don't snitch, <laughs> Snoop D O double G. So uh, I like Martha Stewart. She, do you think she's funny, man? Do you think like rappers they peak? What do you think a peak age is for a rapper? I think it must be like twenty three, twenty four, um, because they all get famous pretty young. Because that's why all of those don't seem that old. It seems like they've been around forever, but they're only fifty. Yeah, but I mean like. Fifty Cent is still rocking world tours. Yeah, but uh, Ice when did he last make a good a good track? I don't think it's age specific. I think it's relevance. When, it, nah, it's just whenever they're going through the most trauma, basically, isn't it? Because like, what all the, all their best albums are their first few. Yeah, because they their life changes. Exactly. They're not yeah. slinging guns exactly. and drugs they're, anymore. They're talking about their experience. Like for the Fifty Cent, get rich or die trying. I remember Eminem said like, "This is probably going to be like the last great gangster rap album." Because he was like, he's still out here doing all that shit. And it, it probably was, really. Because all the gangster rap now is just be dead, in it? It's just the same old mumbling, talking about slinging molly and shooting people in Atlanta. And yeah, it's, it's like, like SoundCloud kind yeah, of Yeah, and it's like, yeah, it's, it's been done now. Yeah. Whereas I remember the first time I heard Many Men, I would, I'd have been 10 years old, mate, and I wanted to, like, shoot my maths teacher. Like, I was ready to go, man. It just got me, got me fucking pumped, man. Do you know that one, Jason? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was, I like 50, yeah, yeah. Mate, I was downloading Wankster online while I made it. Yeah, I wondered where you were going with that, but that's a good tune. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we get copyrighted, man, because I'm too accurate with you. Yeah. But no, yeah. I think it's, it's, it's when they go through I'm the most chore. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll still sell out world tours, isn't it? But, like, 
but has anyone listened to Snoop's last like three albums? Because it's all nostalgia, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is to an extent, but it's also just like you said, they were they were going through it, and it's the mm. same with comedians. Like usually, their first few shows are sick because they're talking about their life and their upbringing and their experiences. But once they're wedged, like what are you talking about now? All your Hollywood friends and stuff. Like. Yeah, Hollywood friends tweets or your problem with trans people probably. Yeah. It should, yeah, Chappelle got called a bully again the other day. Have you watched his latest special? I haven't, no. It's good, man. Because my sister's got my Netflix, so I can't get on it. Oh, know. shit, yeah. Yeah. What? Like I started paying for it and you used to be able to share the accounts, didn't you? Whereas yeah, now... but you just got to do it on your phone. Oh, what? Watch it on my phone and then and then cast it. Cast it. I'm not very good at casting. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I cast the net wide. <laughs> so... <laughs> I thought you just did tech support for a minute. Yeah. So yeah, what's well, so you think? Snoop's stupid for turning down. Would you get your dick out for hundred mil? Would I? Yeah. Would you? I mean, yeah. I think 100 mil is 100 mil. You got to get your wood 100 out. 100 mil is a lot of money, especially for Snoop Dogg. He had like loads of tax problems previously, doesn't it? Yeah, but he's, he's connected to so many businesses. Like, he just doesn't. He just doesn't need the money, you know? No. I mean? And his wife's probably thinking, like, that's mine. Yeah. Right. Well, his exact words were, he was quoted as saying, I'm getting a, I've got a black wife. Do you really think I'd get away with that kind of bullshit? Yeah. So, for 100 mil, though? Yeah, but you don't need it. Mate, if, if if you turned it down, I reckon your missus would leave you. She'd be like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it is you know, ridiculous. I'd, I'd have taken the photos. You know what I mean? We'd have put a put a rim in shot up. Did you get Baywash? No, I didn't know. Uh, <laughs> you haven't been Baywash at but, that? Uh, she'd have been like, yeah, let's fucking, let's get a portfolio together for 100 mil. But if you if you were already minted, it'd just seem a bit like you just wanted to do it, didn't it? Like, we didn't need the money. Yeah. I think I'd just take the money, to be honest. Yeah. People forget, like, people will forget about that in a I few years. I suppose it's taxable mm. as well, so it's really not 100 mil. Oh, mate, in California as well. Yeah. It's probably getting about 20. Yes. And, and... Would you get your dick out for 20 mil? Bro, I'd get my dick out for 50 quid. Yeah, well, there you go, man. <laughs> there you go. But I'm saying maybe it'll backfire as well. So I think he's done the right thing for him. I think so. Yeah, it's the celebrity intrigue thing, though, isn't it? Like I said, it's that their logic would have been you'll make a fortune because people are curious about celebrities, but like it's the same thing with like Alec Baldwin back in court about shooting that fucking um, weapons expert on the set of Rust. But I don't know. About, I don't know about you. <laughs> that I just sounds daft, though, doesn't it? Do you know, like. Surely, if you're the weapons expert, then you would probably well, this is win. The, this is this is what <laughs> this is a this is what expert. the whole case is about. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, do you know if you're going into battle with a weapons <laughs> expert and then you win? It's like, well, it's not really an expert. Yeah, what, what was he doing? Like, just pretending and being like, bang, so it, bang. It, so it was supposed it was supposed yeah, it was, to be. Um, a, 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 it was a western. I, it was yeah, shooting a western. Yeah. What I don't understand is why they had a live gun. Oh, she was with... white. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Shooting a Western. Come on. Uh, Give me some here, boys. Yeah, okay. So He's quick. Yeah? He's he bullet quick. quick. Yeah, he was yeah, quick. He was quick, quick, mate. Yeah. Quick on the draw. You're shooting from the hip, mate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fastest finger in the West Wing, mate. But he, um, yeah, so he shot. I don't know why. They, they still don't know why there was live ammunition on set. Someone loaded it. With I mean, it was ammunition. America. That's probably the yeah. reason. But I don't know about you. Like, when you talk about the intrigue of it, I hadn't even heard of this film existing when they were shooting it. But, like, I'm probably going to... Well, I'll be kind of wanting to watch it now. A western. Yeah. No. It's called Rust. Mm. Not for me. Yeah, but yeah, but it's like a. It's like watching a like a crime in real time. You know what I mean? Like at some point in that film, someone died. I yeah, would like want to know at what point he killed her, and then whether his acting changed. You can look it up. So the the issue is basically. No, I don't like, know what. what like, remember, they... remember that website, Mister Skin? No. So it was like an American website, and uh, it was. Well, this is like pre like pre-porn, I think, in a sense, if it wasn't as readily accessible. So someone set up a website of every film that has nudity in it. And you could just click on the film and it'd have like the timestamps of nudity throughout all of it. So that's what you'd want for this. I want. Yeah, the, but I want... you don't know what order they edit it in, right? Because sometimes like, they shoot it backwards and whatever. What, there's just a few scenes at the start where he just can't stop crying yeah. uncontrollably throughout. <laughs> shoot it backwards, like the bullet just goes back into the gun. He wishes. <laughs> um, but yeah, nah, you don't know what, what order it goes in. Well, basically, they, he, he shot what was supposed to be... Uh, Why is he aiming at the weapon black... expert? No, he wasn't. 
Oh. He was just, it was just a scene and she was off camera. I think someone else got injured as well. And it was a, a gun that had been converted, as far as I'm aware. And then it, but it had a live round in. Can you imagine being him in that moment though? Like the shock that must go through. Because he's thinking like he's been firing off this prop gun. For days. What, it's like, yeah, but like for days at this point, probably. They've probably been running through this oh, scene yeah, and rehearsals. I mean, yeah. He's been firing off this prop gun and then he just pulls the trigger and that happens. You must be like, what the fuck? We've got it wrong though there, but he on. didn't kill the weapons. The weapons expert was on set. She yeah. was just a uh, cinematographer. Yeah, the weapons expert is the one that is also being charged for uh, loading it with light. Yeah, so we'll take that back. Like, he obviously isn't that much of an expert. It's just a weapons guy. Yeah. And what, Alec? Baldwin's charged as well. Alec Baldwin pulled the trigger, yeah, so he's getting done on man for manslaughter. But surely that's just a freak accident. It is, but it's America and it's a very litigious nation, isn't it? You can sue anyone for anything. Who was that guy? Um, oh, what, it was something fucking ridiculous. Like he sued McDonald's for like 13 mil for like a technicality. I can't remember what it was. Was it that hot, caution hot? Is it the one that burnt his tongue on a hot drink? No, I think it was the opposite. I think it was That's something... That's where caution hot came from. I thought, yeah. I thought about suing Lidl last night. Did you? Yeah. Okay. yeah last night? I, I, had a, I had some chilli heat wave, like their version of Doritos. They were normally called chilli heat wave. If it's Lidl, they're called just like chilli warm or something like yeah. that. And I got to the bottom of the bag and I, I bit into one and it was like a massive lump where it was... It must have been one of the the chips that was still... It was still in like a block. So it nearly like cracked my tooth because it was that big. If you had broke your tooth, you probably could have sued him. Yeah. You wouldn't have got... It was massive. It was country. like a massive chunk. Like you could have like sucked on it. It was that like chunky. Well, you remember the... the you remember the thing with... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you don't seem too concerned. I like, don't. I could have choked on that. There was a man that found a rat in a baked bean can. You're talking that about. Was, a... I'd say this is on the same disgusting. level. You say this was on the same level. Yeah. yeah. You remember the person who bit into a like a chicken wing, like a big fucking chicken breast thing or something from KFC, and there was, the head and there was a so. fucking head inside it. There was the KFC that was nearest to where I uh, where I'm originally from. That actually got shut down for a period of time because someone got found to be pissing in like the chicken. Uh, yeah, one, one near me got shut down for someone spunking in the milkshake. All the it's K still shut. All the KFCs around the country got, McDonald's though. got shut down for... <laughs> Is that why the machine's always broke? You know they don't shut the machine anymore. They have two on rotation. You yeah. can get a milkshake at 4am now. Really? Yeah. They shut all the KFCs around the country for a bit as well. When I, This would have been like 10 years ago because all of the ice in the KFCs was found to have human feces in it. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, yeah. So, like, all the ice you were getting in your drinks, and that? Just drinking shit. Yeah. Mad. So, they, they, like, shut all these KFCs down. I mean, I can see why that's clean. quite easy, isn't it? It was something to do with, cross, yeah, like, cross-contamination yeah, with, like, it's... soiled water. But, yeah, people were not were not thrilled. Fuck it. Speaking of crazy Americans, it's very off-topic, but I'll just get a yes or no answer. Have you watched American Nightmare yet? No, nah, what's that? What's that? Oh, yeah. I've heard it's fucking sick though. Have you watched it? No, was it? All right, go home and watch it. We'll talk about it next what's time. What's it on? <clears throat> it's on Netflix. Yeah, I'll watch it. It's because yeah. it's, what's his name? I can't remember the guy who uh, directed it, but he's... It's the same person that makes Tinder, Tinder Swindler. Yeah, he's one. Of, he's got one of those faces. Oh, no, I'm thinking of the one that's got Jordan, not Jordan Peele on it. Or has it got Jordan Peele on it? No. Oh, I'm thinking of some American else. Nightmare. Okay. It's about a kidnapping. Oh, no. I'm thinking of a film that's coming out. No, no. Okay. You're talking about The Kitchen? Nah. No. Did you watch Kitchen? Nah, I'm going to watch it today. Okay. Is it good? Kitchen? I got told that was shit last night by someone. Not for me. Uh, someone I'm, told me it was really... Uh, I really I'm, like Kano I'm on well. a bad run. I'm on a bad run of films at the minute. I, I, watched, I watched Napoleon a couple of nights ago. I watched Napoleon Shy. in the week. I quite liked it. What? But you know, what I, you know what my issue was with it? That it should have been a French film. It, it was it was annoying for me that just everyone in it was either British or American. It was annoying for me how I don't it just, speak French. There was no I, real. I don't speak French. Yeah, but like you I rather have it dubbed over. Yeah, subtitle. I'm it, learning it, it, Chinese. It should have it should have been a properly historical French film. <laughs> You're learning Chinese at the minute. Yeah. yeah, you can't just slip that in conversation and expect. Why? Because I don't know. I was just sat at home and I thought, well, learn Chinese. And I can't lie. <laughs> 
I can't lie. That's I'm, for, what the fuck? I'm smashing it, boys. Yeah? I'm smashing it. Listen. Oh, what, on Duolingo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to, do you want to, do you want to? I want to hear you say a bit. No, I don't say it. So Why don't you wait. say it? Wubai yen. What does that mean? Don't know. 500. You, oh. You, you're not learning it if, if you just say it back but don't know what it is. Yeah, no. Nah, it's getting in my head, though. Like, I, I now know what someone... Look, look, so now it's asking me, what is that? And Wub, I've just... Wubai yen. Yeah. So you're going so right. So I learned that pretty, pretty quick there, really. Yeah. yeah. I'm fluent. Sure. sure. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Sure. What does my name mean? Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not learning it. Hey, listen, I'm only in lesson one, bruv. I started four days ago. Yeah, I thought Napoleon was all right. Um, but I, I, like I think it. it should have been a French film. I just felt like it didn't... Do you know if you went into it? I was thinking... Uh, well, what did your missus think of it? Because she didn't know much about Napoleon. Well, I, mean, I, I said, don't, don't go on learning. Wikipedia. Don't go on Wikipedia because you'll learn everything during the film. But it just jumped around so much. It didn't really give you any context as to why he was doing the things he was doing. And unless you knew about the French Revolution before or had a little bit of an idea about it, the, the jumps were just too big. And one thing that, um, that Jesse picked up as well was that he looked different in every single scene. I know it's aging, but yeah. it didn't look like the same character, if that makes sense. It was like... They did jump a lot. But I think it's because they had a lot to squeeze into a two-hour film. And he kept doing weird stuff every time he was he was going to have Lo sex going. Yeah, loved fuck. Yeah, why was he pretending to be a horse when he wanted to fuck his wife? <laughs> he was like yeah. making weird little noises and stuff. And yeah. it was just a bit... Again, it was a... I get it. They're trying to make him out to be some kind of little weirdo. Basically, that's what they were trying to get across. But if you... They've only... You've only got historical accounts of him. I mean, is that what he was like? Was, I just love to know weird, how how actually accurate it was based Joaquin on, Phoenix's take on him was. It's based on his letters, basically, isn't it? The film. It's, it's based on the letters that he sent back from all of his wars. Because that, that's what the accounts... Is. But you know what I think thought... how mentally unstable you are in a war. And then you're writing a letter back and you're like, yeah, this guy's a bit of a weirdo. I don't think he's mentally unstable. When I watched it, I said to my mate, all it's made me realise is that every great person in history has been severely autistic. Like, that's, that's it. Maybe like, that's why so I'm missing so, out. So genuinely, I was watching it and I was just like, if you were really like this, you had like no social skills, no decorum. You could tell everyone like fucking hated him or feared him. But he just had this incredible tactical brain. And I was like, so he's just autistic. Yeah. That's his thing. It's, the, it's not trains, it's cannons. What's the weirdest thing you've done during sex? Uh, I've not pretended to be a horse like Napoleon. <laughs> yeah. Pretended to be Napoleon. <laughs> I just pretended to be Napoleon. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> have you done any role play? No. No. I've... Have you ever been, have you ever been asked? No. no. I don't. It's never really been something high on my agenda. But... You've never done anything a little weird during sex. Um. I to once. Think. I once. Uh, bust a nut uh, a little earlier than I'd like to, mm. and went way one for the lads. I don't know why. why. <laughs> what are you? What are you role playing Not as? For a dare. No, I don't know why I did it. Did, did she ever speak to you again? Yeah. I just, I've done that before, but it's gone bon appetit. <laughs> uh, how old was I? No, I have actually done that. What? 26. Crazy. <laughs> it was just instinct. I don't know why I said it. I, even when I said it, I went, fuck. I don't think, I don't think I've done anything that one for weird. the lads. One for the lads. I think bon appetit. Is that worse or I don't know? Were you eating? No, I was finishing. Oh. Bon appetit. D dinner's did served. <laughs> where did you finish? Yeah, where, where do you think? Like mouth or? Yes. Oh, okay. Bon appetit. Oh, you don't get, ever just... Get that down, yeah. Fuck you now. I don't think I've done anything that Bon appetit weird. is wild. I think that's wild. Than when a, when a football, yeah, bon appetit's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Uh, I didn't even know you speak French, bro. <laughs> exactly. I've been on Duolingo, you know. Nah. <laughs> and it just did that next noise. Next time, next time I'm going to bust a nut and go, woo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're just hearing the back going, ding, ding. <laughs> yeah, that's... I, oh, actually, nah, I remember, I remember a bird ages ago and she, she didn't take it very well. Where, like, once we'd finished, I, I just put my hand out to, and shook her hand. 
What, like you're completing a business deal? Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, no. But the, the thing was, she got really annoyed. She was like, why Why did I go for the handshake? Like, what? Was it just instinct? I just thought it'd be funny. Uh, she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Great doing business with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, I don't think I've done anything that, that weird during, I don't think. I've had weird scenarios, but like nothing, nothing like that. No improv. Yeah, I've definitely like replied to text messages. What, during? Like, during foreplay, yeah. Yeah, that's Like, fair. over their head. That's really? <laughs> yeah. Nah. Oh, yeah, I've, I've, like, checked my watch and stuff. <laughs> yeah. What, what, to see what your heart rate is? Nah, it's just crazy. Like, you know, if you're just, like, fucking... What's is that what you do on your... Can I get out of here afterwards? Is usually Because some head is bad. Yeah. And you just... you too polite to say anything. Yeah, I rarely say anything. Yeah. Like... You're just like, that's enough. Oh, that's, that's enough, actually. It's a lot of teeth, that. Yeah. Let me distract myself and just learn Chinese over your head. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to bite the fucking Red Bull can in half. Have you, have you watched Napoleon? No. It's no. all right. I won't now. It's, it's not. I mean, it's happens. watchable, but it's nothing groundbreaking. Yeah, yeah, but watch American Nightmare. We can talk about it next week. Okay. Because it's a good watch. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Napoleon was... So did, did, did Jesse feel like she'd learnt a bit? You should have done it like oh, watching Star dropping. Wars in order. No. You should have been. You should have been like fucking right. You've got to watch Lame Is first. Learn about the revolution. Yeah. Then go into Napoleon. After Napoleon, you've got to watch Rasputin. You know. Yeah. What I mean? You could just fucking bring it all away. <laughs> yeah, the the only issue I have with a lot of these period films as well is that <laughs> every, every everything's just so clean. And can you imagine what it would be like living in that time? It would have been barbaric. I always think... It would have just been shit everywhere. They would have smelt like shit. They would have looked like shit. When, they, when he's going... What's his... Uh, what was her name? Cat, not... Uh, his wife. I can't remember. Already. Cleopatra. No. Nah. But his wife. She's and she's like... She's supportive here, let's... And, and she's just... <laughs> and she's like going, oh, once you've had some of this, you'll never want... I'm thinking. Yeah, well, you. I probably wouldn't want any of that. Like, can you imagine how stank disgusting, puss, stanky, stanky, and him as well. Stank yeah. puss. Everything stank. Yeah. Yeah, but back then, I've often thought this. The though. pheromones were. But, powerful. but they make it look so like kind of yeah. They so make it the look. Syphilis, mate. They make it look like nice and like kind of oh that's really sexy and it like oh she's wearing this sexy outfit. It's like it wouldn't have been sexy. Uh, it probably would if you were at that time. No, nah, they must wash their bits, bro. Come on. No, they. They just used to shit everywhere, mate. They the, didn't even have toilets in some of them gaffs. The rich might have done a bit more. The rich might have been having baths a bit more regular. Yeah, but they had like baths like once a month or something like that. It wasn't no, uh, but rich, yeah, but you rich... say that you say, well, bro, this country in nineteen seventies was once a week. Yeah, yeah. you had that to go to the garden to shower to wash mm -hmm. once a week. And if you was the youngest brother, you're using the other yeah. fucking brother's water. Yeah, you, you, and I that's think it the seventies. One bro. of the one of the French kings. I don't know, it was Louis the something like tenth or something. He famously like never used to. He used to just wear loads of perfume, but he never used to bath or anything like that. Mm. So he just stank. Also, people shit that like, there was bath, communal baths in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dirty. Yeah, it's not nice, is it? No. So like when when you watch those films, I think you need to. It gets painted in all its glory, but I bet if you were living in that time, yeah, it would, be imagine, yeah, but would like, you want Napoleon to put his head up and be like, "Oh, this is fucking." Dutty, isn't it? Well, the mad thing, like, the, the thing they focused on the most in the film was that his wife was infertile, basically. She was too old to have a child. Uh, and he was just not thrilled. But he basically just called her a barren old bitch for like fucking an hour and a half, basically. Yeah. Yeah, but that's is, what I mean. I don't think he focused enough accurate. on like the battles that he won, like what a, a great like commander he was. Yeah, the one he was thing. a tiny I'm, boy, though, wasn't he? Nah, not really. Wasn't he a little no, midget? It was British propaganda for the most oh. part. Like and But they made a point of that in the film. Did you notice that? When he stood on the stool to look yeah, at Yeah, and in another one where he, he, also, made, he made like a little a little kind of joke about himself being short. But that also pissed me off when he stood on the stool to look at the mummy because all of the mummies were tiny as well. Like when I was in Egypt, they're all fucking tiny because they're all malnourished. Yeah, and you think about in the, like it Am says it says on Wikipedia. <laughs> 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 it says on Wikipedia his height was between uh, my brain was like just I just leave it said on the... <laughs> you're healthy you're healthy bro. it said he was between 5'2 and 5'7 yeah 
Yeah. I'd say that was probably an average heart in them though, days. Yeah. What, what? Because everyone was short. Because they were sorry, just... Sorry, what, what, what height did you say there? Between 5'2 and 5'7. Yeah. That was probably an average height for that time. 5'7 is geezer. absolutely fine. It's also, yeah. It's also wild that but they I'm don't know 100% how tall he was. Like, you had his body. You know what I mean? Like, he didn't die in battle. He fucking died peacefully. Yeah. But how'd you measure him? Fucking tape measure. Jason's ruler. <laughs> yeah, that's Stab when he was 5'7". <laughs> <Stab it. laughs> he shrank towards the end. <laughs> but yeah, I couldn't really understand what, what message they were trying to get across a, a, about him. Because he didn't really... Um, you know, he's, he's the thing that he was like most impressive about what, what was his like his tactical acumen basically like that was the whole thing about like why the brits let him live they were kind of just like you're a worthy adversary but you're no longer a threat so just yeah they, they just they just jumped too <clears throat> far in terms of periods of time where you didn't really get to appreciate that it was more about him kind of having something losing it and then obviously a big bit on the battle of wellington yeah which is obviously a massive battle but it was battle of waterloo uh, sorry, oh, sorry, with the Duke of Wellington, wasn't it? Uh, Battle of Waterloo, but mm. he was already he, that was kind of the end at the end of him, and he was massively outnumbered. He was never going to win that battle anyway. Yeah, it was his final rebellion. Yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, what but about it, everything that he did before that? Where he, be, it, they didn't really make a big thing about where he beat the British either. I didn't think. He, he, yeah, he he never really did. He, he he just pushed them back. Which is why the Brits went with the Russians and the Austrians in the end, because they were just like, let's just fucking get rid of him. Um, the thing that uh, there was also that thing of like, I don't think he was that stupid to be like, the Brits have just got boats again. I just think he was autistic. <laughs> yeah, the, that, the that was a really scene. weird line in the film, was it? Where he yeah. just walks off and goes, they've got boats. Yeah, you think you're so good with you your think, boats? You think you're so like, good with boats? I was like, yeah. what is this? Who wrote this? He's Why like, is that? Yeah, so what accent did he have? An American one. American, a yeah, Phoenix again, it was, American one. Everyone yeah. was just posh British or American. It's a classic period film. Yeah, nice, I've been yeah. watching The Bear. I'm really behind on like so many TV shows. The Chef people Show. People have told me are sick. Yeah. The Chef Show. Yeah. Yeah, great. Fucking Mike, sick. Shout out Mike, he put me on on that. Yeah, it's sick. sick. And all I keep thinking about when I'm watching it is like Ben. Like Ben's life in the I kitchen. was thinking about Ben the whole time as well. You, you need to watch it, man. It's sick. Like the pressure that they must, <coughs> that they must be under in them kitchens like fucking 12 hour shifts of just everything's getting done rapid and all I keep thinking is like we need to go to Ben's restaurant store man yeah. and, but I, want, I don't want to eat there I just want to sit in his kitchen and just yeah, watch it all I want to watch I, him screaming at someone I don't I can't imagine Ben getting angry yeah but it's the workplace isn't it he'd be doing that it must be overwhelming like yeah. I was getting stressed out making a Greek salad last night you had a rough night last night yeah Got stressed eh, in your great salad. Well, not you could, stressed, you could, you but you're gonna choke to death on a spicy ball bag. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just a little bit stressed out where you're making it and I put too much olive oil in when I was mixing it up, and I was like, God. What leaves then? What leaves is a Greek salad got in? I don't know. What's a Greek salad? <laughs> <laughs> it's just diced vegetables. Oh, put and more vegetables. Fe and feta cheese. Uh, feta, feta cheese, cheese feta cheese, peppers, yeah, cucumber, tomatoes, oregano, olive oil. Oregano? Oregano? Ah, okay, yeah. Uh, Origami. Put, yeah, just put, <laughs> put more of that in to balance out the oil. Or drain no, it off. I just put two, yeah, I drained it off. Yeah. Or an appetite. You'd crumble red it. Red onion, kitchen? red onion, put a bit of red onion in there. I hate red onion. You would No, crumble. but what I did is I put I put it in some ice water and then put in some red wine vinegar to get rid of the yeah. tartness of it. Yeah, Disgusting. you would crumble in the kitchen, mate, is what I've learned. Me? Nah, Jason, man, if he's getting screamed at, where's my salad, chef? And he's like, I was oh. getting screamed at. <laughs> We should do a we should we should do a cook off one day. Yeah, Free I'm us. actually I'm I'm actually okay. Like I'm my timing, so shit. My timing's not great. You can make that fish curry. Yeah, egg that curry. You told me all, oh, egg curry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. fish curry is actually. Yeah, you told me about it. So what are you saying? We should we should hire out a kitchen like like fucking what's that show? Baker. Master Chef. Oh. Boom, three dishes each. Get Ben to judge it. Yeah, yeah, we could do that. I think that'd be quite. We'll fun. just do it in Ben's kitchen. We'll do it for the Patreon. Yeah. yeah let's, do, let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah, you should watch it though. I reckon, you, I reckon you'd like it. Yeah, it's sick. I'm trying to load a video up at the minute, but my, my signal's not great. That fucking, the Apple Vision Pro thing that everyone's talking about now. Have you seen Have you seen the video of it? I've not seen videos of it. I've seen, I, you know I, read, what the... I read an article about it, basically. 
uh, I glanced at an article. So basically, it. like you have the you have the 3D vision goggles, you've got headphones, and it's got everything there now. So it will have, say, when you're on the plane, you can watch a film, but it's it just looks like a massive screen to you. You're it's like, mad though, isn't it? Like how much my mum told me to get back from the TV, you're going to go blind. Get yeah. back from the TV, you're going to go blind. Now we just got it here, bro. It can't be you, good for do, you, do you, surely. Not, do you not think, though, like more and more people are getting diagnosed with ADHD, but do you not think it's just what we what we have, like, readily have access to day to day? Like, 100%. How bad does your attention span need to be that you can't make a Greek salad without some glasses on that also allow you to watch Desperate Housewives up here while you're fucking chopping your shit up? Like, how, yeah, do, yeah. I can, I how can you not that. just spend, like, 15, 20 minutes away... From no, screen, you couldn't. have to be multitasking all the time now, yeah. don't you? Like you've got to have a tab open. Like how many I tabs open of in my fucking head anyway? Yeah. I can't shower without music. Oh, I, I, I music have music on in the shower. shower. Do, you sing, do you sing? I don't sing. Do you I can't like do anything spit without some bars? music. On? I do spit some bars. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do anything without music on. Like if I'm cleaning up the house, tunes on. If I'm cooking, do you I think tunes I? On. I think sometimes, like sometimes, music is a good way of just kind of distracting yourself as well from the voices. From the voices head. in your head, yeah, is that why? Hundred percent. I think that's why a lot of people have music on all the time just to change I don't the state. Know if it, this happens to anyone else, right? I'm gonna say something wild now, yeah. But you know, when you're like on the toilet or you're in the shower, when you're like exposed, yeah. Do you ever feel? the most vulnerable at that point. Well, yeah, because... Uh, you know, so... No, to, like, mentally. Yeah. No, so in, in a... No, I feel quite good in the shower. When I'm in the shower, like, my best ideas come to me. No, I, yes, I, I know, agree. I, I feel vulnerable, though, in a sense of, and I've thought this before, like, if you're naked when an intruder breaks into your yard... I don't even mean like that. No, but, but that's, that's where it gets me, like, quite regularly, where I'll be like... If if someone breaks into my yard and I'm start bollock naked, <laughs> like I'm I'm gonna look at him and be like, like we we can have the scrap, but can I put some shorts on first, please? See, I just don't want to be having a scrap with me dick hanging out. I like, don't mean that because when my car Slinging got stolen, the... I ran out in my in my boxes. Yeah, no, but, yeah, but boxes is fine. But yeah, bollock but naked. I'm running up and down the street, bro. But I'm saying I'm talking more like intrusive thoughts. They'll hit me when I'm sitting on the toilet, specifically. No, nah, mine's when I'm walking. Is that why you distract yourself when you're on the toilet and watch videos? Maybe, I don't know. If I do, it's... Uh, what kind of intrusive thoughts are you having? That could be anything. Like what? Like you, 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 sh you shit at everything you do, whatever it might be. Okay. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but they'll hit me... I love how you, the one place you choose to self-harm is when you're, when you're on the toilet. Yeah, they'll We're hit me when I'm on the toilet. We really get into the crux of you being the one out of the three that's never had therapy. Because they'd love this. Let's How do you know I'm that? A, I'm gonna do it. All right, you told How'd us. You... You oh, told right. us. Okay, so you feel like sometimes, <laughs> so sometimes you'll be you'll be sat on the toilet and you'll just feel like that you're shit at everything. Me now. Like, but why? Why? Why do you feel like that is? Tell, tell me more about that. I don't know. I'm guessing it's because I'm I'm in a vulnerable position, no. and, and that, I'm not generally vulnerable. How does it make you feel to? To have that thought come in that you're shit at everything. Do you agree with that? I pull thought? my pants up and I get on with the day, bro. But just mid shit, you just snap it off and go, nah, not today. I wipe, and I'm done. Bit okay. of water. Do you, you know do you agree with that thought? Don't know. <laughs> this is turning into like a Theo Von podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's the safe, but I can just sit. I can just sit yeah, I feel it. I just feel a little bit shit sometimes, you know. Yeah. That Sean Strickland episode, by the way, is crazy. Oh. My man spent an hour and 45 minutes just talking about how he hates women and gay people and trans people. But then because he cried about his childhood trauma at the end, everyone went, God, he's brave. He is a... <laughs> that guy okay. is... He said the country was better when women knew their place in the kitchen and that it, and the war ruined America because women went into the workplace. He also said, I don't think they should be allowed to vote. It was They were happier when they weren't. But then because he went, my dad was abusive, everyone went, God, what a, what a man, opening up, <laughs> opening up. And would I say this to his face? No. No, because he'd probably not. kill you. Yeah, mate, he's a fucking unit. The one thing I will say about this, though, because he had it the other day, he did a press conference where he was talking about how like he'd be fuming if his son came out as gay. And everyone said, you're not allowed to say that. But I think the opposite, I think, yeah, of course he's allowed to say it. He's entitled to his opinion. I don't necessarily agree with him, but he's entitled to his opinion. You know. I mean, I mean? like, how many dads... Think you, that anyway. You could be fuming though. The yeah. fact that you're okay, I'm not gonna have a yeah. 
natural that's what grandkid. He, that's what he said. Yeah. That's what he said. He was like, what? So I just... He can be fuming about that. Well, yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's not our business. It's not our business at all. Anyway, I'm sorry that you feel that way when you're on the toilet. No, I just thought maybe it was a more common thing. But we're at, No, but, I've but, never but, experienced but, uh, it, to be fair. But, but we're at the end of our session. We nearly made a breakthrough there, but you're going to have to come back next week and pay, <laughs> but me, I don't pay me more money. I don't spend that much time on the toilet. I'm like once every few days, so... <laughs> I've, I've, got, I've, got, uh, I've got a question. Yeah. It's somewhat related to the Apple Vision Pro thing, but not. it's also not oh, yeah, Apple. We'll I could just imagine that. you sat on the toilet with your Apple Vision Pro just on. Just tears, right? tears coming just down like, the side of it. <laughs> just watching, watching Jordan Peterson videos going, you are good enough. Yeah, I am good enough. I'm going to tell you the story, Cain and Abel. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know like the metaverse thing? Did you see that article the other week about um, the, the kid the kid that got raped on the metaverse? What the fuck? Did you see I this article? Up here. Did you see this article? No. Crazy. So it was basically, there was, a, there was a child. They didn't say how old the child was, but this child was on the metaverse and then got sexually assaulted by someone else's character in the metaverse and they were like oh so it's it, they're trying to make it the first sexual assault case in like the virtual. metaverse and the law that the, they basically just went well that's not against the law so that's just quite interesting because that will happen won't it like mm. think do you think like the origins of the metaverse will be like the origins of actual kind of yeah, civilization but, 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 where but, but, everyone was it, just like Rape, pillage, yeah, war. But you don't feel it. You don't feel it, right? Exactly. So, yeah, but you might not feel it. They said it's mental anguish. Yeah, you might not feel it physically, but you would feel it emotionally. Well, this comes. This comes back to. Do you just... Surely you fucking know. Because that that's the that's reason why you're going you... on it anyway, aren't you? Because you're feeling something. How do you get on the metaverse? You buy the headset. Oh, you have to have the headset. I believe so. Yeah. How do you buy land in the metaverse? Bitcoin. Really? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I think we should buy a headquarters on the metaverse. I don't know. I just think kid, these kids no, have gone soft, man. Fucked, mate. I've told you the story oh, about I think me. We uh, buy some land. I've told you the story about me getting groomed on Habbo Hotel. Yeah, and I'm fine. I thought it was quite funny. Yeah, these kids gone soft, man. You just log off when it gets a bit sticky. You know what I mean? <laughs> like you log off and your character's there, just like limp, and someone's just still abusing you. Yeah, you log back in. You log back in. Your character's just on the floor, just like eight of them. He's had a bad night. <laughs> yeah, he's he's yeah. rang his mates. What's happened? Yeah. The one thing I will say that needs looking into is whoever did the raping, check his hard drive, mate. You know what I mean? Because yeah, a, I mean that's a sure that that's a, a sure route individual. to a prosecution. There, I mean, what he's doing in the metaverse is probably nothing in comparison to what he's doing in the real world. Just a warm up. Yeah. 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 I think how many grooming gangs will probably be on the metaverse? It's 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 all bizarre. It's I mean it's 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 safe sex though. Two thirds of councils in the UK reported this week that their sexual health services are at breaking point uh, because cases of near enough everything are skyrocketing. Can you get pregnant on the metaverse? Maybe it's a setting potentially. Was that not a headache though? You played The Sims when you were a kid. And then they'd have a baby and it was just like one more fucking thing to look after. So you'd just lock it in a room of a fireplace. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you don't need that. You don't need that in your life. But yeah, I reckon. Fuck the metaverse, dude. We're not buying a headquarters. You just got, yeah, but, but do you not think in the future everyone's just going to be walking around with these headsets on? Yeah, 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 absolutely. This fucked. Uh, who was it that said... It was... It might have been like, I don't know, Einstein or fucking one of them smart cunts. It was basically like in a hundred years, no one will talk to each other face to face, and everyone was like, "Oh, he was pretty, pretty spot on." Yeah, I mean, so, it's probably going to happen. Teams, you got is it? Is it's the metaverse as well who introduced those four um, D meetings and that in it, so you can stand on something and it projects a hologram of you into another room, so that you can do virtual presentations, but it's like you're actually in the room and stuff. Like they've got all that technology. The next, it's just teleporting. That'll be the next thing, won't it? Mm, you'll never have to travel for a gig again. Just project yourself from your house. Imagine. Do you think it's the end of television as quite well? That's wild, to be fair. Yeah. Do you think it's the end of TV? TV, you know, like live, a TV live TV, yeah. It, no, like a TV in your living room. Why would you need it anymore? Mm. If everyone's just got these headsets on. Yeah, but can you imagine how miserable... You're just sat there like... Yeah, but imagine how miserable your life would be if, like, let's say... Mate, this is what people want. People like being miserable. No, but imagine, imagine, yeah, you're in, you're in your flat with your missus, yeah, and it, watching some together on TV is still, like, you're still spending quality time... Like a shared experience. ...with that person. But if you're both just like, oh, I, I was work, yeah, it was good, yeah, and then you just fucking pop your goggles on for three hours and watch something completely separately, and then you're yeah. like, all right, let's get to bed. You don't exist together anymore, really, mm. do you? It's 
pretty grim. You really. just, so how do you eat with them? They're just glasses. Yeah, you, but can you no, still see around? You can see yeah, everything can around you. Oh, yeah, right. so like so it's you, just a screen on it as well. It's like um, so. It's like you will have them on all the time. People will be walking around with those things on all the it's time. It's like the BMW windscreens, right? Where the stuff comes yeah, up yeah, on yeah, the. Yeah. Oh, they've got like wipers on as well. Yeah, they've got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have they? And the next thing, and the next thing, what will happen is when you're walking around with these, the upgrade, like when they do the updates, it'll be, oh, you'll be walking past someone and you'll be able to see like the their Instagram. We did. Or you'll be able to see like the, or or, yeah, all this shit about them. I mean, I'm gonna buy some. They look pretty good, (laughs) but I don't know. I think they're more likely to catch on than the metaverse kind of stuff. Yeah, Yeah, because the metaverse is completely virtual reality whereas this is augmented reality yeah it? and but it says Google like blurring the lines they didn't take off the Google glasses didn't catch on I remember when they came out I remember thinking like they're actually what's that Oculus was that smart. Oculus no they had oh. Google Glass didn't they and they were just yeah. an actual pair of glasses but it had, it had mad shit it had like Google Translate building, built into it so if you went on holiday you could look at a sign and it would translate it into, into English for you and stuff my like theory that. is you need which to, is pretty smart really you don't need to go like all the way you have to go part of the way like, you don't give someone a bionic arm, give them something that's going to, like the phone, which is like an attachment, and then you slowly develop it into a bionic arm. But Google created something else, didn't they? It was like a head, it was like a earphone. <laughs> like, yeah, Google created like an earphone that you could put in, and then if someone was talking to you in another language, it would translate it in real time in your ear into your language and stuff like that. Yeah. Which, is, it's all smart shit. Mm. But it's like, like you said, n- not everyone needs everything. It's weird, isn't it? Because sometimes I'll go to a gig and I'll be opening and I'll stay till the end. And people are like, why are you still here? And I was like, well, this is the first time I've left my house today. Mm. So I'm staying out. But really, in the future, people just ain't going to talk to anyone for like a week. It's going to just... You go, oh, do you want to go to that, you to go to that gig? And then you'll just be like, oh, yeah, we'll just watch it on the... And go, go into somewhere, we'll be putting your, putting your goggles on. Yeah, but imagine even if and you log in into a virtual room. even lips with the goggles on because they'd hit each other. That is true. But even if you leave the house, everyone else has got theirs on. Yeah. <sighs> the world's dying, mate. It is, mate. That's my takeaway, basically. And on that pleasant note, um, f- thanks, thanks for listening. Uh, if you listen to this on uh, the Apple uh, Vision Pro, let us know what the experience was like for you and what you were doing uh, while you watched it. Uh, I've been Joe. I've been Raj. I've been Jason. And we've been just thrilled to have you here. (laughs) Uh, See you later. Ta-ra. Peace. Clap. This has been the Word on the Streets. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.